Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, this video here is just a quick one. It's uh, showing the engine removal from the donor. I realized I hadn't posted that video in the uh, donor truck videos yet. So um, this is just showing uh, the setup of the hoist and uh, how I lifted it out. Really didn't have too many problems. Um, the biggest problem I had was once I got the uh, motor and trans set up on the hoist and had everything out of the truck, um, I went to pull the uh, pull the torque converter bolts out. You'll notice here I've got a really big chain. It's it's uh, too much chain for uh, the engine hoist. It's uh, one of the chains out of my worn winch uh, bag. I couldn't find uh, my regular lifting chain that goes with the hoist, so I had to improvise and use what I had. When you set up your hoist, make sure you got a chain with small enough hooks for the uh, for the lifting points on the motor. Uh, in this case the hooks were way too big and it was uh, it was difficult to get a solid uh, solid setup where I could lift the motor confidently without fear of something slipping. But once the motor was out uh, everything went well and I uh, loaded it up, uh, loaded the transmission up in the back of the donor and got the donor out of here. My brother was kind enough to come pick it up uh, on the flatbed and we took the donor back and brought the 48 in here so we could get started on that uh, which was it made it a good day productive day okay so I got the motor out of the donor uh, it was a little sketchy getting it out of there but uh, I need to get a better chain set up for my for my lift but uh, now I gotta split off the transmission get this thing on the engine stand so I can start stripping it down, paint the accessory brackets, paint the intake manifold. And, uh... Always want to use proper line wrenches for uh... Hydraulic brake line.
So guys, I don't know if this is going to come out or not because I'm not in the garage under the light, but I noticed something today when I was disassembling the donor truck that uh, maybe I've already done welding on this thing before. I, uh, I don't recall welding on it, but it, it looks like my work, uh, so I thought I'd show it to you. What do you think? Pretty nice, huh? We're gonna we're gonna try to step that up just a just a touch, a skosh, and uh, hopefully do a little bit better exhaust work than that. I'm not sure what's up with that, but uh, it's uh, it's stuck. Hey, it's a plus.